Hello, in this video tutorial I like to explain how to fill out the table about the external wall, roof and floor in the energy frame BE18. What you see down here is all the different columns we have. So we have to go in and think about the area, U value, B factor, specific heat loss inside, temperature outside, temperature and the Efficient losses. If we go to the program, you can see here and the table uh, for the walls, uh, roof and floors is down here. It's important you to click on table to get the table visible. First thing you need to think about is what kind of constructions do you have? And in this house, this is a a single family house without a basement, we just have roof, external walls, and ground support and floor. If you have a basement, then you of course also we have the construction from the basement, and if you have a first floor, you will also include the construction from the first floor. Then the first we have to find is the area, and it's different to find the area for the different constructions. For the roof, for example, we take uh, the area. If we go to um, uh, DS418, we can see for the roof, it's external areas. So it goes from external, um, from outside uh, the external walls to outside the external walls. If it's, for example, it's for the floor, it's from inside uh, the external wall. And for the wall, it's from top floor to top insulation. So it's important that you check out how do you calculate uh, the area for the different constructions because uh, there is regulation about it. It's not just the actual size. Then the next column is your U-value. Uh, and the U-value we already calculated in the U-value report. Then we have the B-factor. And the B-factor is a temperature factor according to which temperatures we have. Normally, it, when we have 20 degrees inside and 12 degrees outside, it's one. I will also put it up in the guideline uh, that you have uh, <coughs> uh, for BE18. <coughs> and you can see here, the red ones is without uh, underfloor heating. So that's when we have 20 degrees and minus 12 outside. Then we have this. So there it's one for the roof and for the wall, it's always one. It can be different when we have the floor, because if we have, th if we have underfloor heating, we will have uh, 30 degrees in this construction. And you can see also here, it, we the green ones is with underfloor heating. And that means we have to add 0 0.3 uh, to um, the B factor. <clears throat> So, so what we have here is that we, if we have the out underfloor heating in the in the floor, then it's 0 0.7, and if we have underfloor heating, it's one. And if we go back, then we have the specific uh, heat loss, which the program calculates, and then we have the temperatures. And the temperatures we can also uh, look up in the same table as before. You can see here, but normally we have 20 and minus 12 outside. In the soil under uh, the house, we have 10 degrees. So this is it. Um, you can also go into uh, the report uh, we have <clears throat> from Consequence, which I've included where you have the different areas they calculated. So you can see that here. For example, here for the external wall, that's uh, the height uh, of uh, the wall times uh, the perimeter around the wall. Uh, and then we have subtracted the windows areas and doors areas. The height here is the height from top uh, floor to top insulation, and that's important uh, to remember. The floor area is the internal floor area, so that's inside uh, the walls that we have here, and also down here, and this one up added together. And the roof area is 
external areas, so that is from the outside uh, here, and from outside here to here, uh, times together, and then add it with this part down here, where I have from outside to and outside is the height, and then add it together, you can see it here. You also have it included in, in the report I have uploaded. So this is all for now. Um, have fun and look into the assignment and try and fill this uh, table out. See you in the next tutorial.